Uh, have you heard about the weird fire? No. No. transform the waterfront from a very underutilized industrial wasteland to more of a people's place. Um, after, I guess, almost 10 years of uh, illegal chemical dumping going on down at the wait site, you know, I mean, this is a toxic mix, um, you know, just waiting to explode. And um, on that date, that's exactly what happened. Like I said, the ambulance, uh, EMTs, they had no idea what they were dealing with, so they wore no protection, no gloves when they treated these guys. But the years later, some in some cases, even weeks later, um, the symptoms didn't go away. They just began to get worse and progressed. And um, a lot of the guys ended up with um, there's various diseases. It was just hard for them to believe that so many illnesses could come from one site. You look at most of the area along the waterfront, it's all to somewhat contaminated because of the heavy industry that used to be there. There will be certain areas at this site that have petroleum hydrocarbons. There's three brownfield sites involved in the soccer stadium area. It has been cleaned, but it's not totally clean, so it's not like you can build anything on it or, or do anything without doing significant remediation. Some cap and cover systems. What does that mean? There will be at least two feet of clean soil material that will be placed above the surface that we have today. I think there's an enormous pressure to get the soccer stadium built. I am not very comfortable knowing that that we could say that all the health and environment issues will be looked at as thoroughly as something that wasn't fast-tracked. We asked residents, uh, what are your concerns? Uh, what are your issues? What do you see as opportunities? And the soccer stadium is, has the look of being positive. I think their frustrations go back to, you know, basic living issues. Like um, but many of the residents have brought up the issue of that there's not even a grocery store in Chester. There's, there's a casino with no supermarket where people can buy food. Gate down, gate down, gate down, gate after gate after gate, all the way down. All the way down. So what, what do that tell you? Chester has the highest infant mortality rate in the state, more than double the rate of, for Delaware County. Chester has the highest percentage of low weight births in the state, nearly double the percentage for Delaware County. And Chester has a mortality rate for lung cancer mortality rate about 60% higher than the rates for Delaware County. And we can spend $114 million on the soccer stadium, but nobody seems to be able to find the money to invest in improving the health of the residents of Chester. The issue of the weight dump is certainly not the only issue of building a soccer stadium in Chester. But the issue of the weight dump, in combination of looking at the broader picture of the environmental justice issues, of looking at the health issues. And I think that's part of our initiative or part of our objective would be to educate, like I said earlier, so that something like this doesn't happen again. Um, there are winnables in, this, in a situation like this in Chester. And now, I think where the whole issue of the weight dump maybe can be one of positive thing for the next 30 years is that we finally admit to this and that we take the steps to properly make sure that the, the residents of Chester and then in effect all of Delaware County benefits from an improved understanding of health and um, environmental justice issues.